Welcome, this is the end of course Algebra 1 practice test number 3, question number 23. Joel attaches a diagonal board to a rectangular gate as shown below. What is the length of diagonal board? Now, it's easier, uh, this type of problem, if you just pop this shape that they're looking at out of the original uh, drawing. So I'm going to do this kind of thing. And I also know for a fact that since it's a rectangle, this angle down at the bottom is a right angle. And that's important here. Now, it's a triangle. Many of you probably already know what to do. I'm looking for the length of this side, so this is x. To me, I automatically think Pythagorean theorem. That's just the way that I think about it because it's a triangle. And I know that this is actually a Pythagorean triple, so I know that the answer immediately is C. However, a lot of people don't know that. And it's sort of, well, what the heck do I do if I don't know? Here's what I would do. After you draw your shape out, because, I mean, drawing stuff, it really can kind of get the juice is flowing in terms of getting you back into the game when you get a little behind on the test. So I'm going to go to the formulas page, also a great tool, um, and I'm going to look for triangles. Well, there's only two of them on the whole thing. One of them is an area formula, which won't tell me anything but how much is inside of it, but I want to know what this board is, uh, length is. So the other one is the Pythagorean theorem. It's even got that right angle there, and it tells me that A and B uh, should a squared plus b squared does equal c squared. So I'm going to go ahead and on my paper somewhere, on my test booklet, whatnot, I'm going to write that formula down. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I know that the right angle, the a and the b, are made up by the sides that make the right angle. Now I'm going to try to guess, I'm going to try to guess, not me as a student, but me as a person making this video, where that problem was located. All right, I remembered. So, uh, in my room, we tend to touch the right angle with a pencil or a finger or something. That tells us what the A and B are. So A is 5 or 12, it doesn't matter. So 5 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. Now, I'm just going to do the math here. So 25, uh, 12 squared is 144. That's probably the worst 12 I've written in a long time, but oh well, I'm doomed to it now. I need to add these two together and get 169. And from here, I need to remember that the last step of any uh, Pythagorean theorem is to take that square root. So I'm going to take the square root so I can get the value of c and not c squared. So I end up with 13. So the answer to, num to c or to 23 is c. Now, let's think outside of it for just a minute. We want to know what the diagonal board is. Well, the distance of this side has to be longer than either of these two sides. Just visually, it looks like it's longer. So it's probably not 11, and it's probably not 7. Uh, just if you like took your pencil or something and laid it on the side to see how many pencils it would take to get from one to the other, you'd find that the distance from here to here is very similar to here from here to here. And in order for it to be 17 feet, it would have to be as long as both of them together. That doesn't make any sense. What they're doing is adding these two to get that number. But visually, it doesn't make any sense to pick any answer except 13 feet. So if you run out of options and the uh, formulas page still doesn't help you, at least you can go back and say, well, that doesn't make any sense. I can use my pencil as a ruler, and it only works out if the answer is 13. So, And it is. So good luck.